Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser. I'm SolidWorks certified expert. And today I'm going to explain how to create cross break in 3D form. Uh, in beginning, let's uh, discuss uh, what is cross break make for sheet metal. Actually, cross break makes uh, the sheet metal um, stronger. So, chat. Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser, I'm SolidWorks certified expert and today I'm going to explain how to create cross break in 3D form. Uh, in beginning, let's discuss what is the cross break makes for sheet metal. Actually, it makes sheet metal more uh, stronger, uh, also stop sheet metal from bending or making noise. Uh, and in SolidWorks module, uh, sheet metal module, we can create cross break but uh, just uh, as represent not physical uh, cross break so if we want to uh, create a physical cross break we need to create a separated bunch for that uh, here in this model uh, we have the dimensions uh, 800 uh, and 400 millimeter so this is the main dimension for my bunch uh, let's go to file Get, create and create new part we choose a uh, top plane to create let's make rectangle center rectangle like this and make dimensions 800 400 millimeters i need i need to make offset for safety to be away uh, of the edge flange uh, just for uh, safety, let's select offset uh, 10 millimeter from 5 millimeter to 10 millimeter is enough. Uh, reverse direction like this and make it uh, construction. Or let's make as uh, actual lines because we need to, to make this as a safety area. Then we need to go out of this sketch. We can go to uh, first, then reference geometry. Here in reference geometry, I select the uh, plane, then select first reference as a uh, top plane, then select this point and another cross point here. So this is our main plane, uh, represent four tips of punch. And then I take a sketch here, just point, make this point along center like this vertical and uh, i need to make uh, angle from here to here make construction plane construction line sorry and this angle will be just five to ten degrees let's make ten degrees let's make another one here. I need to check the total angle. Uh, no, 10, 5 degrees is enough. So I need to make it 5 degrees to be between um, uh, 170 or 175. This is a uh, range of uh, cross break uh, depth. That's enough. So let's go to surface and uh, select loft. I will make a loft between this point and uh, this line. So I need to make select manager. This line has this one. That's all. Let's make another one. Also, we can select all of this profile like this. We don't need to select line by line. We can select all profile without uh, select manager. Here, this is the first profile, and second profile it be will be just point. This is the main body of our punch. Uh, let's show the remaining uh, sketch. This remaining sketch uh, I will make as a, a stop faces. So I need to create planner for this offset. Okay, and let's to create um, surface roll it surface normal to this one in 
not important uh, how much is the dimension. But also it is important if uh, you will uh, make this in actual. So this is enough. Let's make another surface for open loop, just planar surface. And uh, net all of these bodies together beside this one. I need to net surface and create tool and create solid directly. This is our punch. Now we need to save our uh, our uh, main body. Here I save my punch. Then I, I need to go to uh, sheet metal module and select forming tool. From forming tool, we just need to uh, indicate the stop faces and the remaining faces will be forming faces in our model. Uh, so after that, I need to go to design library. In design library, I need to go to folder named uh, forming tool. I already have folder named Ali, so I will save my bunch here. Uh, don't forget to uh, fix auto show. Then just drag and drop your um, bunch model here and select OK. Now you have created bunch for uh, cross break. You need to close this window and save all. Return to your main model. Here in our main models, we uh, need to go to sheet metal and uh, again go to design library. Uh, from design library, I can Let's make in this face. Uh, I select bunch and drag drop here. So now I need to just uh, adjust our position uh, to make the bunch in the center of the model like this. Make this point here. Actually in center like this. Then click OK. Now you have physical cross break in 3D form and that's all in our video. I hope this video is helpful for you. My regard is Ali Nasser.